the fake news, of which many of you are members, is trying to convince the public to... Use vacuum pumps. Excuse me. Somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. So I'm taking on... Vacuum pumps. And you know what? We're winning. I was put here by people to... Test electric fuel pumps. And that's what I'm doing. And nobody's done a job like I've done. Look at some of these comments. I've been doing this for a long time. Trust me, electric is overkill. Is the F-35 overkill? I hope it is. I was in the Marine Corps. If I knew there was a Toyota with three guys in the back with the crew served weapon, I called in 500 pounders off an A6 before I met those guys. I'm about to go in there and fight a guy in a fair fight. I'm going in an overkill. So vacuum is created inside your engine here. We pull uh, the vacuum right out of this uh, intake manifold. A little hole right there, put a nipple on it, you attach a hose to it, and you've got your uh, vacuum port. That will give us enough vacuum to run accessories like a fuel pump. The issue with vacuum is, and we say a lot, that we don't make vacuum at high RPM. That's actually kind of false. If you look at this chart right here, you'll see the RPMs are all different, but the vacuum curve looks about the same. The reason we say that is because high RPMs usually come from opening a throttle. And it's actually a throttle position that's uh, making us create less vacuum. As you open the throttle, here's your vacuum in here with the throttle closed. As I open this throttle up, the outside air is allowed to go in to that intake manifold, and so the manifold pressure equalizes with the pressure of the air we're breathing, and that is not a vacuum. But we end up losing our vacuum with throttle opening, not with RPM. And of course, this is in inches of vacuum, just like this vacuum gauge is into the vacuum. Go ahead and just floor it to show that, that doesn't, that's not affected. That's not affected like vacuum is floored again. Again, this is pressure from the atmosphere. Vacuum, when I floor it, one, 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 it goes to zero as it should. And this float bowl is going to fill with fuel. When the floats get to a certain point, it's going to stop fuel. So this float bowl should always be fairly full. I see a lot of guys on the forum talk about, well, your carburetor's not tuned right. Blah, blah, blah. If your carburetor is not tuned right, it's going to run the same with an electric pump, with a uh, vacuum pump, with a mechanical pump. It's not going to change the way it runs. The carburetor tuning is a carburetor tuning. It has nothing to do with the pump. The electric pump's not pushing fuel in your main jet. It's not putting more fuel pressure in this. It's not a fuel injected system. It doesn't rely on fuel pressure. It's going to shut fuel off. It's only pulling fuel out of the float bowl. And vacuum pumps work great. It doesn't matter to me, uh, honestly, if they're Makuni Chinese pumps. I've used them all. They work good and uh, they pump a lot of fuel. I've got videos showing they way out pump an electric pump, but they got to have vacuum to do it. We pumped our float bowl full. We're sitting about right here and we drag race our buddy. Vacuum pump has stopped pumping fuel. You got no more fuel coming in here. The light turns red. You get to about right here on fuel. You let the throttle off. As soon as you close that throttle, you're making great vacuum, especially if the engine RPM is high. Because now you've got high engine RPM, you've got throttle closed, and man, that thing's going to feel like quick. So it's pretty good for riding around in town and stuff like that. But the issue is, what if the light stays green and you keep on going? Now you hold that throttle open even longer and longer, and you run down the highway. Eventually, you're going to lean this thing out. You're going to start starving it of fuel. And then, we've all noticed it, you do that throttle chop, and the bike starts dying. The bike's dying because your low-end jet sits higher than that main jet. You went from the main jet to the low-end jet. I'm exaggerating this. This is not the jet that goes on here, but so here's your uh, main jet. That's the one sucking fuel when you're open throttle cruising down the highway. You're blasting. That fuel's all the way down here, let's say. Let's say you've got that float bowl and you've sucked it dry down to about right here. And this is what this is what's happening to you guys. And this is you've all experienced this. You're like, hey, it's working great. I'm going good, this bike running fine. You let the throttle off, and when you come off that throttle and slow down, the bike starts bogging out and it starts dying. You're like, wait a minute, why is it dying when I'm letting off throttle and bogging down? It's because your gas level's here. When that throttle closes, you're not on the main jet anymore. You're now on the idle jet, way up here. The fuel level is not at that idle jet. So you're not picking up fuel. Actually, I should say the idle jet's right up in there. So you're not picking up fuel, but you can see how much higher that idle jet is. You've stopped fuel to the main jet because the needle's blocking it. You're trying to get fuel in there, but you're just sucking air and your bike dies. And now it won't start. You crank it and crank it and crank it and it won't start. It's got to wait till you get fuel all the way up here. 
So you're creating vacuum by cranking it and getting fuel all the way up here. Yeah, just build your shit correct and the vacuum pump performs perfectly fine. That's a lie. It doesn't perform perfectly fine. It can't perform fine. I think there was no need to post this, bro. We don't care. I don't think you needed to comment, but here you are. These are all these are all vacuum versus electric pump comments. Vacuum pumps aren't the problem. Electric pumps aren't the solution. The problem is how the bike is built and tuned. It's actually a lie. The solution is finding the real issue, whether it be a faulty diaphragm or a weak vacuum caused by a leak. Another lie. Electric pumps are just band-aids for underlying problems. Another lie. The vacuum pump is working perfectly fine when it starves your carburetor from fuel. That is the way it's designed to work. It's designed to work on vacuum. It goes to zero as it should. And Post saying go electric annoy me. Oh, there you go. There's your facts. The core of the annoyance is bad information being passed as good. Wrong. Half these dudes probably have 40 vacuum leaks in their sloppy ass setups. That's why these vacuum pumps can't pump. Or they're too stupid to be able to open up a pump. The vacuum pumps are better because other people are stupid and they have leaks. Now that's true. If you have a vacuum leak, it's going to make it worse. But if you have a vacuum leak, you're going to know it. This thing's not going to run right. It's not going to idle right. It's gonna, you're going to have way more issues. Even with an electric pump, you can have a vacuum leak that can mess up your shit, as they say. One-way valve in the fuel line to keep that priming issue from happening. Put one on every bike we built, no electric pump needed. And there's another uh, guy missed a point. The electric pump makes the bike run better. He's talking about making the bike start better. Some people think we just want the electric pump to start it better. And uh, that's true. With the electric pump, you pump fuel in right away, it starts right up. If your bike sits and all this fuel evaporates out of your float bowl, you don't want to crank all day. You turn the bike on, the pump shoots fuel into the float bowl, starts right up. So there's an advantage there, but we're not talking about that advantage. We're actually talking about which one runs better. The number one reason guys don't like electric fuel pumps and like vacuum pumps is because of the way they've always done it. People fear change. You know, if we feared change, we wouldn't have an F-35 fighter right now up in the skies. We'd still be flying, you know, F-4 Phantoms. You know, what kind of fight would that be? I am sitting here telling you you don't need electric pumps. Fix your shit and find a new hill to die on. That's a nice message. I'm sure you have a comprehensive reason as to why your vacuum pump didn't work, but the electric did. What was the reason the vacuum pump didn't work? Well, I hope I covered that over there with the carburetor. It's, uh, it's not a faulted pump, it's just a fault of the system. You posted a picture of your busted ass shit, so I made sure you knew it's trash. That's a valid point for an electric pump argument. There's a guy asking why so much hate for electric fuel pumps. The answer was because people with electric pumps have bikes that look like yours. It's a mess and you don't need it. Tune, build your bike properly and it'll perform properly. Another lie. We need more input from people like us and less input from people who just think instead of knowing. So more input from the vacuum guys, less input from the electric guys. Makuni has been around for a long time. I have been using Makuni since the early 70s. Brother. I've spoken like a true hang glider pilot fighting an F-35 in combat. Just because you've been doing something from the 70s, that's it's not a good excuse to keep doing it. it. Blows my mind that these dudes really think their dinky stock ass 150s or even a 171 is consuming more fuel, blah, blah, blah. I can't smoke enough dope to get that stone to make it make sense. Well, keep smoking dope because it's never going to make sense because this is just facts. Yeah, so I've got two bikes with vacuum pump, one with electric. That bike has to have electric. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an electric pump on here just to prove my point. I'm not gonna show you how to put this fuel pump on. I've got a video showing that already, the ghetto wrench fuel pump. I'll link it in the description. The rolling wrench fuel pump, I think I have a video on that one too. We've got a mad dog, it's bone stock pretty much with the free mods. The demand for fuel is not that high. The vacuum pump should obviously keep up with any demand for fuel this has. It's going 40 miles an hour. The carburetor is tuned properly. 40 mile an hour stock 50, it's definitely tuned right. Keep in mind, this is a stock bike. The more you modify it, the more the fuel demands are, the quicker it's going to run out of gas, the better that electric pump's going to help. You put a cam on with higher duration or larger lobes, you make less vacuum. So when you put that cam in here, you're going to make less vacuum but need more fuel. Did kind of a rush job on this just to get it in place, but there it is. Electric fuel pump. I just want to get a run in with the same environmental conditions that I did the run before with. 